you're the very first person to call. What do you want to talk about? What's your name, comment, and or question? Hello? Yep, you're live on the air. What's your name, comment, and or question? Uh, my name is Justin from Oklahoma City. Hey, how's it going, Justin? What's on your mind? Um, I have two questions, kind of about like, the black voters in the Democratic Party. Mm -hmm. so, so I'm only 18, and I, the last election, I didn't really understand the magnitude of everything. And most of the black voters went to Hillary, not to Hillary Clinton, to right. Barack Obama, but come, this time around they go to Hillary Clinton. I just don't understand that. Mm -hmm. And also, when it comes to Bernie Sanders, did the I mean, I vote, I'm black, and I voted for Bernie Sanders in Oklahoma, but is it because they didn't like his policies, or they just didn't like Bernie Sanders himself, or if there was like a minority that yeah. was said the exact same policy position, would he have won the minority vote? That's just my question. Oh, man, you, yeah, that's just your question. Like, like those are questions I can answer in three minutes on air, man. I have, I have series of videos dedicated to that exact topic, um, so... Thank you for the call. I'll try to answer them as succinctly and quickly as I can. Uh, but let me clear the line. So um, why did Hillary? <laughs> this is that's a huge question, man. I've been talking about that for six months. <laughs> so can I succinctly say why the black vote went to Hillary Clinton? Um, relationships. I'm going to give it the most positive spin possible. And it's not just a spin, right? Um, I know it's based on relationships because of the black people in my life, the older black people in my life, whom I love dearly, um, not my family. My family went Bernie Sanders all the way, uh, but friends of my family. And, and no, actually, I consider them my family down there in Daytona. Um, they are my family, and they just kept telling me about how long they have had a relationship and a connection to the Clinton family. And there are a lot of black people around the country who can attest to having some type of personal interaction. I mean, when you're on the national scene for 30 years, it's very likely and, and you're involved in your community. It's very likely that at some point you had a positive interaction with the Clintons because that's politics. So relationships and we can't neg we can't negate that. Right. We can't erase that because that's the one thing that Bernie Sanders did, simply did not have in the black community. He did not have 30 years worth of relationships. Um, and so we can't we can't just dismiss that. So that's number one. Number two uh, is because of just name name recognition recognition and whether they had a personal or a professional or a political relationship with the Clintons they knew about the Clintons and they had no idea who Bernie Sanders was now those are the two positive ones I'm gonna give you all the false narratives um, three the false narrative that they ran that Bernie Sanders has a minority problem that was a concerted effort by the media from day one they ran with that created the Bernie bros narrative and tried to show and demonstrate that Bernie Sanders supporters had a problem with race and Bernie Bernie Sanders himself had a problem with race. Now, I'm actually glad you asked that question because now I can tie what you asked directly into the survey data, two different surveys that demonstrate that no, it's not Bernie Sanders' team that has a problem and followers who have problems with race. In fact, it's actually Hillary Clinton's supporters who have a problem with race. Um, so there was a narrative about race and then there was a narrative of, <clears throat> of uh, meritocracy. Right. This idea that Bernie Sanders wants to give people something for nothing. And it is deeply rooted in the black community that you have to work twice as hard as anyone else. Right. And so as a result of that also comes sometimes a negative downward look and downward gaze on people who don't have. And the calculation in our head, the reason they don't have is because they didn't work hard enough. Right. So meritocracy runs deep in the black community. Let's not pretend conservatism runs deep in the black community, right? Um, so, so Hillary Clinton's ideology actually aligns with a lot of black people, particularly black people in the South. Uh, so that neoliberalism, um, the seductiveness of neoliberalism and the ability to, um, the ability to use the financial markets or the lure and the idea that you'll be able to make and generate wealth in this system, that pipe dream, that's deeply rooted in the black community. The black community is overwhelmingly religious. And for I'm giving you like 20 reasons, right? I'm laying them out. Um, the, the black community is overwhelmingly religious. And for the last 20, 30 years, the prevailing theology in the black churches has been a prosperity gospel. And that prosperity gospel is actually, as Eddie Glaude Jr. said, is perfect for neoliberalism. And so it's the it's the if you're wealthy, 
it's because you prayed hard enough goes perfectly with if you're wealthy, that's because you were smarter and you worked hard enough. So for all of those reasons, and I think I mentioned the Red Scare, the scare of communism, if I didn't, that was used as well. For all of those reasons, it was an easy win for Hillary Clinton in the black community. Um, if there was a black cons progressive with the same exact values, uh, positions, policy positions as, um, as Bernie Sanders, could um could he or she have won yeah um absolutely the only thing they would have had a fight against is that 30 year long relationship that the clintons had but she could not have forwarded this false narrative of um of racism right <laughs> um she could not have forwarded the false narrative of um I forgot. I don't listen. I listed so many. I can't even remember everything I said. Uh, but that black that black individual could have gone to all of these black churches and and connected instantly in that pulpit. That's something I said Bernie Sanders should have done a long time ago, which was to go to almost every single black church in this country uh, um, of a modest and to a large size and connect with the black church from a Torah perspective, the Old Testament perspective. He could have done it. Uh, I don't think they did it in any significant way. So could a black progressive have done it? Absolutely. It's going to take a, it's going to take a progressive of color to actually beat back against neoliberalism because neoliberalism has perfected neoliberal multiculturalism. And they have protected, uh, perfected rather, the identity politics game.